Hey, Isaac here. Happy summer, everyone. It's Tuesday, August 3rd. Welcome to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. This is the podcast where we live the dream of people of every nation, tribe and tongue, worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Please help us out by subscribing, reviewing and sharing the show. On Friday, September 3rd, Kevin will be sharing a powerful message from God's Word entitled God Speaks and You're Not Deaf. I hope you'll join us for this international live broadcast from the USA via Zoom, YouTube or Facebook at 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Friday, September 3rd. Details at kevinwhite.us kevinwhite.us We'll see you there. Also, Kevin's book, Audacious Generosity, is available in paperback for only $10 right now at kevinwhite.us and that includes free shipping anywhere in the USA. That's cheaper than you can buy it on Amazon. Go to kevinwhite.us and order some copies today for you and your friends. Okay, now here's Kevin with today's show. Hey everyone, I'm so excited to have you in the audience of Living the Dream. I join Isaac and our entire team welcoming all of our friends from the USA, Afghanistan, India, China, Japan, Australia, Uganda, Mexico, Canada, everywhere in between. Welcome to Living the Dream. If you're watching on YouTube right now, I'm actually waving at you. I just would love to high five each and every one of you who have subscribed, who have reviewed, and who have shared the Living the Dream show. I'm Pastor Kevin, and I'm excited to have you in the audience today. Whether you're watching or whether you're listening, wherever podcasts can be heard, welcome to Living the Dream. Well, we are finishing up in a video series with Pastor Rick Warren of Saddleback Church in San Diego, California. I've been blessed to be out there to meet with Pastor Rick, to um, worship at Saddleback, and I'm so fortunate to have read his books, been under his ministry. My entire ministry is a couple of years older than me. He's always been a very influential global prophetic leader, thought leader, uh, my entire ministry, and I'm very thankful for Pastor Rick. Well, right now he is leading what is called the Finishing Task Coalition, and it is a collaboration of ministry partners and organizations around the world and that are rolling up their sleeves, locking their arms shoulder to shoulder in a, an effort and a commitment to finish the task of, of the Great Commission. And we are listening to part three of a video series. If you've missed the first two episodes, you'll want to go back and listen to those. But let's dive into today's show with Pastor Rick. Pastor, take it away. To accomplish this work, we're creating three task forces, one around each of the goals, the B goals, the three Bs, Bible, believer, body of Christ. And we can go faster, we can go farther when we work together. And I've asked and recruited, and they have prayed about it, and God has called them three time-tested, well-respected global leaders in these areas of Bible translation, church planting, and evangelism, the Bible believe in the body of Christ. So it's my honor to introduce them to you right now, that in finishing the tasks, you're gonna get to hear from each of them and the dreams and the visions for their particular goal, B goal, the area of AD 2033. Now, convening the coalition around the Bible goals, Bible translation, Bible publication, Bible distribution, Bible preaching, Bible application, Bible engagement is John Chestnut. And you're going to hear from him in just a minute. John is the president of Wycliffe Bible Translators. Convening the coalition uh, on evangelism, that we want a believer within walking distance of everybody in the world is Josh Newell, who knows more about digital evangelism than probably anybody on the planet. Works with crew an amazing uh, man who has a, a, just a brilliant creativity. And I'm excited that he's, he's accepted the believer goal, that we get a believer in, in proximity to everybody in the world. And then convening the coalition of church planting is Bekele Shenko. 
Bekele, I have known for 25 years. He already leads the largest church planting international network on the planet. And these three men are going to be our champions and our conveners and our catalysts as we all do our part. I want you to listen to these guys. Friends, it's my honor to be able to participate with you in finishing the task. Our hope and prayer is that together we can serve with the global body of Christ to courageously take up the mantle of catalyzing, multiplying, and supporting church planning movements in every unreached people group and place until everyone everywhere has access to a Bible, believers are present, and a growing body of Christ is established. I count it a privilege to be a champion for seeing God's word made available to everyone around the world. Currently, there are nearly 2,000 languages comprising 170 million people that still do not have any form of God's word in a language they can understand. There are still 1.5 billion, that's right, billion with a B, people today that do not have access to the full Bible. It's incredible to consider that this is still true in 2021. An alliance of Bible agencies known as Every Tribe, Every Nation has come together to serve as a catalyst for seeing two translations made available in the largest 100 languages of the world. Still a full Bible made available in every language of 500,000 people or more, a New Testament in every language larger than 5,000 people, and 25 chapters made available for every language needing one by the year 2033. And this is simply a start. Ultimately, we wanna see every person on earth have access to all of God's word in a language and form they can understand. As we move forward, our desire is to see Bible translation organizations, church planning movements, disciple-making movements, and the broader body of Christ to come together to see this become a reality. For the first time in history, our generation has a realistic opportunity to finish the Great Commission in our lifetimes. We know that God's Word is foundational for evangelism, discipleship, church planning, and ultimately for lives to be transformed. So here's my challenge to you, it's this. Would you join us in praying that this would happen? Would you consider how you might participate in seeing God's word be made available to every person on earth? It will take all of us, global organizations, denominations, local churches, and small gatherings of believers wherever they are found. We look forward to the day described in Revelation 7, 9, when we will participate with those from every nation, tribe, people, and language standing in front of the throne and before the Lamb in worship and praise. Every generation has a mission. The scripture says that David served his generation then fell asleep. He did it. He served both God and his generation. The next 13 years is our generation to serve. And what if by 2033, the good news was truly available to every person on earth? What would that mean? Would our world look any different? I believe it would, and that is behind the third B, believer. This generation is a global people, extremely connected, righteous in our own eyes. The sky and the heavens are the limit, and not even the limit, the destination. But this generation is still, at our core, fundamentally broken. And the answer is the good news of Jesus Christ. But the problem is, is that the good news has not reached every person in every place. What if this generation was the generation to see all of that change? Is there any reason for that not to happen? We have the tools, we have the strategies, and we have the partnerships, and God is aligning all of us right now to serve this generation. We will need to develop even more tools. We must go to every tribe and every touchscreen to proclaim the good news. The Jesus film and other tools need to be translated into thousands of more languages. And along with that, God is raising up a new generation of media creators. And this generation will produce thousands of more Jesus-centered movies so that every person can hear about Jesus in his or her own language and through a story that they can connect to. We will need 
even more focused strategy, primarily digital. God's kingdom is triumphing right now despite the pandemic because we all know and value digital outreach and know how to use it. The next 13 years will be characterized by every church, denomination, and ministry pulling together to go to the most difficult places to reach. Did you know that there are 12 countries on earth that represent 75% of the world's remaining people to reach? Well, together, we will serve this generation and make that statistic obsolete. And finally, we will serve this generation together. Let's take advantage of the biggest advantage that God has given us, his church. Could it be that this is the time that the fractures in his body will heal as we all orient to serving this generation? My heart races to think of God raising up leaders to take the reins in every country and seeing finishing the task led by a globally diverse and ecumenical generation, all focused on one thing, proclaiming the good news. What could God do with such a movement? Well, we will see. We are trusting the Lord to see a believer in every place, in every space, testifying to the fact that Jesus is king and his kingdom is near. Believers, the body, the Bible, these core components are how we will get it done. So that when every knee bows, this generation, by God's grace, will bow willingly. And that is how we will serve this generation, just like David did. I greet you all in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I am now sharing with you about a body in every place, a church in every place. Jesus has a clear vision. He said, I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. It is his church. He is the one who builds his church. And the church that Jesus builds is a victorious church. Jesus also predicted that the gospel will be preached in the whole world as a testimony to all nations. When the gospel is preached, in the whole world, then people from every tribe, tongue, people, and nation will be saved. They, their sins will be washed by the blood of the Lamb, and they will gather around the throne of God to worship Him forever. How does this happen? God works with us and through us. He has loved us, He has saved us, He has sent us. And Jesus said, go and make disciples of all nations. So we have been commanded and we are also given the power of the Holy Spirit and the authority of Jesus. So we go with the power of the Holy Spirit and with the authority of Jesus to proclaim the good news to every tribe, tongue, people and nation. So what is our vision in finishing the task as far as a body in every place, a church in every place is concerned? We would like to see a church planted among every 1000 people in every rural village, in every suburban neighborhood, in every urban high rise, in every digital network possible. And the characteristics of those churches are that every church is a missional church. It's a great commission minded church, a multiplying church, sustainable church and making transformational kingdom impact. We would like to see every church planted, planting another church reproducing themselves and uh, multiplying up to four generations and beyond. Every church becoming a great grandmother church. Can you imagine right now in the world, we have probably about 6 million local churches. And imagine if every church planting a church that is planting a church, the power of multiplication. Imagine that. And Jesus also, when he gave us the Great Commission, he said, teach them to obey. Disciples making disciples, people who are obeying the word of God. And we in the body of Christ intentionally collaborating, being answers to the prayer Jesus prayed in John 17, as he and his father are one, that we are one. And making kingdom priority beyond our organizations and our, our churches, training and sending leaders and living as the salt of the earth and the light 
of the world, making kingdom impact. This is the vision of finishing the task. And it is possible by working together as a body of Christ and by planting a missional, sustainable and multiplying church among every 1,000 people, we can finish the Great Commission because we have been given the authority and the power. Let's do it. God bless you. Hey, it's Isaac. Kevin will be right back. Kevin White is an international speaker and best-selling author who loves helping people everywhere to prosper in God's presence. A serial entrepreneur, Kevin has helped start hundreds of businesses, nonprofits, and churches. As founder, executive director of Global Hope India, Kevin has traveled over 1 million miles to 27 different countries, speaking to thousands of audiences throughout India and the world. Visit kevinwhite.us for Kevin's books, one-minute motivation series, and podcasts. Visit kevinwhite.us today. For over 20 years, Global Hope India has been empowering the church in India as they make Christ known. Visit globalhopeindia.org and learn how you can pray, give, and go. Over 1,000 people have served on one of GHI's short-term mission trips to India. Now you can join a virtual mission team to India. Visit globalhopeindia.org today because everyone should have access to hear about Jesus. Okay, now back to the show. You know, having served the Lord now in ministry for over 50 years and walked with Jesus for over 60 years, I know that God's work cannot be done without prayer. Much prayer, much power. Little prayer, little power. No prayer, no power. And so Finishing the Task Coalition has met with the prayer movement leaders of the world so that we could gather them to undergird all that we're doing with prayer. Jesus told us, my house will be called the house of prayer. And the Bible tells us that over 20 times in the New Testament, we're co commanded to ask. Ask and it shall be given. Seek and you'll find. Knock and the door will be open. Uh, the Bible says, Jesus said, pray for the Lord of the harvest to, to provide laborers. And so we don't want to have this event with you, our partners, without praying right now. So we're going to pray for you and we're gonna pray for each other. Let's join together. Hello friends, my name is Vivek Samuel, and it is a great joy and a privilege for me to join with you to pray for workers all across the globe. I'm right now in India. Just a couple of weeks ago, I got the privilege to be a part of a commissioning service. We were able to commission 65 frontline workers and send them to the unreached parts of North India. To that end, let's pray together for workers that God will strengthen them. Let's pray. Jesus, we love you. We thank you, Father God, for this privilege that you have given to us to serve you, Father. Father, right now I pray for the workers that are serving you fervently and diligently all across the earth. Father, I pray right now, Lord, you strengthen them. Even during these uncertain times, Father, we know that they are serving you diligently. Father God, we pray, Lord, you encourage them, empower them, equip them to reap a harvest that is bountiful. Father God, I pray for their families, I pray for the churches that they are serving. Father, I pray, Lord, in these last days. Father God, we pray, Lord, help us to serve you with boldness. I pray, Lord, uh, some of them are going through very difficult times, even facing deaths, persecution. Father, I pray, Lord, you bless them. You be their father. You be their good, good friend. I pray, Lord, you give us the boldness, Father God, to, to share your gospel to the ends of the earth. 
Father, we give all glory and honor to you. Lord, we want to fulfill your great commission during our lifetime. So we ask that you empower us and give us courage to carry out your work in these last days. Father, I know that greater days are ahead of us. So we speak your blessings in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We bless them in your name. Thank you, Jesus. We love you and we glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Hi, brothers and sisters in Christ. I'm Tiffany Swan, part of the Deaf Ministry and ASL community. Please join me as we pray for all deaf individuals who are some of the least reached people groups in the world. Dear Heavenly Father, we pray for you to bless the deaf communities of all countries and tribes in unity with others in the church who tell all people about the gospel, equipping them to reach other deaf in the world, all of whom are made in your image, that you would accelerate the process of making the word accessible to all deaf individuals, that we would see a incredible movement in all churches specifically reaching the deaf in their communities, and that the word of God would be translated into all the different sign languages of the world so that all deaf could have the complete word of God in their own sign language. Our prayer is that we reach every area currently with unreached deaf people groups who have no Bible, no believer, or no body of Christ to finally be reached with your truth inspiration, and salvation in all hearts. We thank you in advance for your great work with the Holy Spirit, and we love you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hi there, this is Ken Katayama. I have the greatest honor to serve as the president of Crossover Global, a church planting organization seeking to provide gospel access by planting multiplying churches among unreached people groups. Let's pray for the local church around the world today. Lord Jesus, we love you and we're grateful for uh, your calling for us to be part of your body. And at this time, as we focus our attention to pray that you would bring units in the scripture and by your spirit for the global church around the world. As well, we remember the suffering church, those who have been persecuted because of your name. Lord, would you give them boldness as they witness of the gospel? Lord, would you help them to endure and finish their race? Lord, may your name be honored among those who are persecuted, Lord, and that they will be blessed as the scripture uh, promise. Lord, we also pray for workers that the local churches around the world will send more workers for those who have no access to the gospel. We pray for local pastors and leaders that they will have the mind and the vision and the heart to be a sending church, a, a, a church that is, is focused in fulfilling the task of the Great Commission. Lord, we pray your blessings of your body to whom we love so much, we're a part of it, and we pray that they will feel your presence and that today that you would strengthen your body around the world. That's our prayer in your name, Jesus, that we pray. Amen. Hello, my name is Isaro and I am passionate about the Great Commission because it is God's invitation to us to join and partner with him in accomplishing something that is so much bigger than ourselves. Please join me in prayer for the work of the Great Commission. Father God, we are grateful and honored that you have commanded us to tell of your love and of your grace. You did not need us, but you chose to include us, and for that, we are truly grateful. We thank you for the passion you have towards unreached people. You are a God of love and grace who longs to see all your image bearers experience the beauty of relationship with you. I pray that you will lead and guide us as we continue to undertake this task. And now, Father, we pray, we pray that you will give us wisdom Give us divine insight on where to go and how to share. Make us sensitive to your voice that we may be in tune with your voice to hear exactly what it is that you are telling us to do. And Father, we also pray that you will give us creativity in accomplishing the Great Commission. 
We thank you that our unity does not require uniformity. We pray that you will give us a revelation, divine revelation, on what to do in fulfilling the Great Commission that is in line with our shapes and with our sp in our specific spheres of influence. And Lord, we also pray for perseverance. We pray that you will give us courage and faith in times where we feel so discouraged. We pray that you will help us to rejoice in hardships knowing that perseverance produces character, which produces hope. To help us to keep our eyes fixed only on you because you promise to never leave or forsake us. And finally, Father, we also ask for inspiration for the Great Commission. Give us that same passion and give us that same passion and urgency that you have for the gospel. Our lives as ambassadors should be to reflect you in everything we do. I pray that every area of our lives will be a representation of who you are in our lives to the rest of the world. And in all this, may you get all the glory and all the praise. It is in the name of Jesus that I have prayed this. Amen. Our Father, we cannot deny that our divisions run deep and we are not yet the unified bride that you seek, but we believe that by your grace we can be. So enable us to transcend limiting labels and pull up extra chairs to make more room at the table so that every voice is valued and every tongue is heard so that your glory will no longer be blurred by your body, but instead reflected clearly as we each take ownership of our responsibility to stand for justice and equality, not driven by the shifting standards of society, but by a holy hunger for the full gospel reality where there is no Jew nor Greek, slave nor free, male nor female, generation X, Y, or Z. Not because these differences cease to be, but because we have chosen to clothe ourselves with humility. So expose the schemes the devil has devised to divide us and guide us with the wisdom you have promised to provide us. Make us one as you are one. Father in the Spirit, and the Spirit in the Son, and the Son in every people, every tribe, every tongue. May our oneness be our witness. May we pass the litmus test of love, not by might, nor by power, but by your Spirit from above, so that your kingdom may come and your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Amen. Okay, now we've just prayed together, and I want to humbly ask you to continue praying for finishing the task goal of A.D. 2033, a Bible, a believer, and a body of Christ with every people group and in every unreached place. You'll do your part, other people will do their part, and together we'll get it done. You know, I've been in Africa many times, and one of the great African proverbs that I've remembered is that one drop of rain uh, can't make any difference but a million drops of rain can turn a desert into a garden. By myself, my life, our ministry, our church, we can't do a lot by ourselves. You by yourself can't do a lot by yourselves, but together, a million of us is drops of rains, praying together, working together, fellowshipping together, we could turn a desert into a garden. So I wanna challenge you to join one of the prayer movements I wanna challenge you to follow a world prayer guide. You know, I've written a, a five-day devotional uh, for you version that you can use to pray and reflect specifically on the Great Commission. Also, I wanna point you to all of our collaborative global Congress that we're gonna have in 2022. FTT AD 2033, the global Congress, is gonna be an online Congress that will go all around the world. And as I said, it's like a Lausanne, only instead of having 3,000 people, it can have 3 million people. We did a trial run of an event like this, this last year at Easter, when I did my annual prayer gathering before Easter week for pastors on all seven continents, and 1.2 million pastors joined in that event. 
So we know this is gonna be an amazing thing. We're gonna have training and inspiration and motivation for the next 12 years together as we walk through this journey. So pray with us as we continue to, uh, to listen to you, to listen to other global leaders, to learn from each other, to hear how God is moving and, and how we can all be a part of his great commission. And don't forget the three Bs, a Bible, a believer, and a body of Christ in every unengaged, unreached people group and in every unreached place. We'd love to see a church for every 1,000 people in the world by AD 2033, FTT AD 2033. That's the watchword for the next 12 years. God bless you. Thank you for listening to the Living the Dream Show with Kevin White. Find the complete archive of all episodes at kevinwhite.us or subscribe for free through your favorite podcast player and never miss an episode. This program is copyright Kevin White International, all rights reserved. Each week we bring you a message of living the dream as people of every nation, tribe and tongue worship Jesus together on earth today as it already is in heaven. Remembering the gift of God's presence through Jesus Christ is accessible to everyone. Join us again next week for Living the Dream with Kevin White. Living the Dream with Kevin White.